futuro. Allegedly. Diddy, if you hear this, I'm sorry, don't violate me. Please! We were bad, but now we're good. Moving into your neighborhood. And you know we're trying our best to be functioning members of society. We're not here to start a little trouble. We're here to provide you the sex offender show. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. My name is Vinny, media's favorite tour guide. And today we are here to talk about no other than P. Diddy, Mr. Sean Combs. This man needs no introduction. Iconic rapper, OG, OG weirdo, uh, a bunch of things I could talk about that I will later in the video that I'm not going to bring up now. I just wanted to loosen up the mood a little bit, bring up some things that maybe you didn't know, maybe you find funny, stuff that I find funny about it. Uh, I'm <laughs> kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of flabbergasted right now. I, I, I just did a lot of research and I got a lot to share. So first things first, I don't know if you knew this, but Diddy just put out a video of himself dressed up like the Batman, and it's titled The Darkest Night. I guess, bro, live long enough to become the villain. Someone in the comment section, this is the first comment out of Saw, by the way, someone literally called this man the diddler. I, 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 don't know how to, I, don't know, I don't know how you can describe Diddy better right now. He also released a movie trailer called Off The Grid for his latest album called Off The Grid, and I can't tell you how foreshadowing that is. Uh, and speaking of foreshadowing, The Weeknd and Metro put Diddy on their track, Creepin'. I, I don't know how we didn't, I don't know how that irony escaped us as a people. I don't know how we didn't catch on sooner. It's called Creepin', and I heard the song, it's only like a five second verse from Diddy. He did not need to be on that track. It made zero sense for him to be there aside from the title. So those are some things that I kind of thought were a little bit funny. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get into more of the serious stuff about the case. I'm about to talk about um, the Cassie case. I'm going to talk about the other victims that came out after the Cassie case. I'm going to look at other things in the past of what um, was alleged of him. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that in just one second. Second. Here's where we get a little more serious, and I need to get a little more of a warning into what we're going to talk about. This isn't going to be as funny as the diddler, but we're going to go into a lot of the real case studies that have happened, proving why we have this view of Sean Combs, aka P. Diddy. So, as most of us know, there's a pretty big case that got brought up called the Ventura Cassie case. Uh, a female singer came out and said when she was 19 and Diddy was 37 there have been inappropriate sexual relationships harassment there have been obscene controlling measurements as in Diddy controlling her job her medical records etc after that case brought up a lot of traction uh, from the media and a lot of people just very concerned over what they heard because the Diddy case prior to that has been kind of silent. No one's been really talking about Diddy, even though we all should have been aware of what's happened based on some past, you know, situations. The media was very surprised by it now. So when Diddy overheard how big this case got, he paid it off he hushed moneyed it up he made sure that this case would never get on the ground so he gave her the hush money and she took it and for the time being that was it we didn't feel like we were going to get any justice from this at all but thankfully four other victims came out against diddy after that 
they felt like the floodgates were open already and they felt comfortable enough to do so and now we got a lot more information about how crazy this man allegedly is so we can talk about joy dickerson she claims that she was drugged on a date then sexually abused and also claims that diddy recorded the act itself which i don't i don't know how horrifying that's something straight out of um what uh, the jello guy what am i bill cosby i'm sorry that's something straight out of that i have no clue how this didn't pick up traction earlier and how i was late to the party too uh, an actor called jones uh last name not given for you know obvious reasons he was allegedly groomed and traded by sean to an actor named cuba goodings jr and this is a crazier story than i've uh, i've seen before and no one's really talking about this this man claims that he was sold by sean to cuba goodings and the elect the actor allegedly fondled jones in a uh, on a dinner date that you know did he just handed him over to it's stuff like this where you kind of have to sit back and question uh, not just why we weren't aware of this, but like how many people were in on it to hide it, you know? It's one of these things where it's like, I'm not a conspiracy brain person, but you have to think that there's something going on to be like, I, I mean, this man was, he knew every celebrity, every singer. He just made songs, with, like I mentioned, with The Weeknd, 21 Savage, uh, uh, French Montana, how do you, how do you not know? what's going on and especially the people who knew him behind closed doors there's a clip of him uh, uh him being p diddy there's a clip of p diddy that's going vi- viral right now for how creepy it is it's him with justin bieber and him just talking to him in this weird way about how he's not talking to him picking up his phone calls anymore and, and just that menacing smile on diddy's face you can see the whole time it just seems so so gross really weird you can see on justin's face how uncomfortable he is and to me it's like you have to be a special kind of evil you have to be a special kind of evil to to do all this and still be a celebrity you have to be so much of a terrible human being to get away with it for this long so yeah i, I promised you guys an answer i titled the, the video did he do it spelt diddy like his name and to me that is peak creativity and if you don't like and subscribe because of that i i don't know what to do to to impress you people anymore that is peak comedy um regardless do i think diddy did it well allegedly this is what he said need i say more No, I do not. All right. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. This was Vinny, media's favorite tour guide, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.